Take you now back to the violence in Venezuela here. It's been going on for a while now. Some lawmakers are now calling for U.S. action, including Florida Senator Marco Rubio, who was singled out for name calling by Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro. Local 10 News reporter Glenna Milberg spoke with the senator today, and she's live now from our production control. Glenna. Alvin, we were with the senator right before he got on the flight to Washington, and just within the last hour, he was on the Senate floor rallying for sanctions against the Venezuelan government that he calls puppets of Castro's Cuba. A new week of countrywide protests dawned with de facto barricading and military backlash against near rioting, a crumbling economy, and skyrocketing crime. The latest fatality is a man who fell two stories as he was hit by a bullet. Though so divided is Venezuela, so difficult is news coverage, it's tough to confirm as 13, the number of dead in two weeks of violence. Some 130 are hurt. De fuerza, de confianza en el pueblo venezolano. In an hour-long monologue posted on YouTube over the weekend, President Nicolas Maduro blames U.S.-backed fascists, his word, international media for distorting events, and singles out Florida's junior senator. El loco de los locos, pues. The crazy of the crazies, he publicly called Senator Marco Rubio. This is a government that purports to have been elected, but is not governing as Democrats. And I think there have to be consequences for that. We caught up with the senator meeting with children's services providers in Miami today. He has been on Twitter calling Maduro Havana's puppet in two languages and is now calling for a proactive U.S. role in answering human rights abuses. What should the U.S. do? I, I think there should be sanctions against this government. One of the tools that we have at our disposal as a government is the size and importance of our economy, and we should consider <laughs> using economic sanctions. And moments ago, the senator took it with pictures to the Senate floor. I listen to the stuff about Cuba, and I listen to what's happening in Venezuela. They're very similar, not just in the repression part, but the economics part. You know Venezuela is an oil-rich country with hard-working people. They have a shortage. We don't have an embargo against Venezuela. They have a shortage of toilet paper. You know, as far as an official U.S. role, none exists at the moment. The spokesperson for President Obama said the White House is working with groups like the Organization of American States to urge calm.